now to solve this uh, integral, what we can do is, you can do this a couple different ways, but the easiest way is going to be converting this to sines and cosines. So what you want to recognize first is that this doesn't conform to any of your secant and tangent rules that you've learned for trigonometric integrals. So we want to convert this all to sines and cosines. So when we do that, we'll get the integral tangent squared on the bottom uh, is cotangent squared. So we can write that as um, cosine squared theta over sine squared theta. And <coughs> secant theta would have a cosine in the denominator, so we can have cosine theta here. So you can see one of these cosines is going to cancel out. And if we just have cosine over sine squared, we can do u substitution where u is sine theta. So we want to say u equals sine theta. Therefore, du equals cosine theta d theta. And you can see that we have cosine theta d theta right there. So this integral becomes 1 fourth 1 over u squared du. And now we can simply take the integral. So this is going to be negative 1 over 4u plus c. And I'm going to rewrite our substitutions up here just so that I remember because we're going to have to do them one more time. Okay, so first we need to plug in for u. We have u there. We know that u is sine theta. So we get negative 1 over 4 sine theta plus c. But now we need to go from theta to x. And we know we have this substitution up here, x equals 2 secant theta. Let's change that to x over 2 equals secant theta. And remember that when you have these trig substitutions, the best way to do this is to set up a right triangle. So we're going to set up a right triangle. Let's call this angle theta. So secant, you remember, is the reciprocal of cosine. So instead of being adjacent over hypotenuse, it would be hypotenuse over adjacent. So we'd have x here and 2 here. That means this is going to be square root of x squared minus 4 by Pythagorean theorem. We need sine of theta. So sine of theta would be opposite over hypotenuse. Since this is on the denominator, though, that x would actually go to the numerator. So you can see there, sine theta is root x squared minus 4 over x, but since it's on the denominator, we have the reciprocal of that. And then we have that right there as our answer. And that matches up uh, with answer choice B.